Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Congress just exposed Democrat collusion. Dems in major trouble. For far too long, politics in America has been much more about right or left rather than right or wrong. If Donald Trump's presidency accomplishes nothing else, it has exposed the sheer volume of corruption in Washington D.C. that has been allowed to fester in such a way as to make it undeniable, except perhaps to those that are content to live with their delusions, though they make pharmaceuticals for that. But I digress. It seems Senator Charles Grassley, chairman of the Judiciary Committee, is also sick to death of the lies and shenanigans. It seems he sent a searing letter to the attorneys representing Christine Blasey Ford. Who made 11th-hour accusations that Supreme Court Justice nominee Brett Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her more than 35 years ago? In the letter, he reiterated his already twice stated request for Ford's attorneys to turn over the therapy notes, polygraph materials, and communications with the Washington Post that Dr. Ford has relied upon as evidence. The evidence includes notes from Ford's therapy sessions and detailed charts from the polygraph exam she arranged to take in August prior to going public with her accusations. After being briefed on the FBI's seventh background investigation into Judge Kavanaugh, I have seen no corroborating evidence to the claims made against him. It's time to vote, and I will vote to hashtag confirm Kavanaugh. Senator John Thune Grassley began his letter with a simple civics lesson noting that the Senate is specifically charged by the Constitution to advise the President, be it President Trump or another President future or past, on his nominees for the Supreme Court. As such, Grassley charged that the committee had a constitutional obligation to investigate and evaluate independently the president's nominees. He also clarified the Senate's obligation is unrelated to anything the FBI does, we have to make our own assessment. Grassley has extended deadlines and written multiple letters requesting this information be provided to the committee so they could be properly evaluated as part of the Senate's vote on Kavanaugh's nomination. Every single request has been ignored and rebuffed. The latest excuse in a never-growing list that grows longer by the hour has Ford's attorneys stating to Grassley that the information in question would now only be turned over to the FBI as part of a full investigation into Ford's accusations. Grassley unequivocally let them know that is not how this works, stating, the U.S. Senate doesn't control the FBI. If you have an objection to how the FBI conducts its investigations, take it up with Director, Christopher, Ray. But don't raise that objection as a reason not to respond to this committee's demand for relevant evidence. Senator Chuck Grassley, this person is very well qualified, a person who believes in the principles of due process, the presumption of innocence and readiness to serve are recognized. So, Judge Kavanaugh should be confirmed on Saturday. Pick.twitter.com slash NRJZR4 and 7B. Fox News. As the Daily Wire notes dash. Grassley then set the record straight about the attorneys using their objections to the FBI investigation as an excuse to deny the Judiciary Committee access to the information they were demanding. He wrote, The FBI's investigative decisions aren't our concern. Even if the FBI never interviews Dr. Ford, or interviews her ten times, this committee has a constitutional obligation to investigate Dr. Ford's allegations, and that's what we've been doing since we became aware of her allegations. Grassley pointed out that the attorneys had claimed repeatedly that the evidence I have requested supports Dr. Ford's allegations against Judge Kavanaugh. She even provided some of this evidence to national news. Indeed, if the evidence supported your client's allegations, you surely would produce it as quickly as you could. Then Grassley really got to the nitty-gritty, but you have repeatedly refused to produce this evidence to the Senate. In doing so, you are preventing the Senate from considering the evidence most crucial to Dr. Ford's allegations. I don't know what other inference we should draw from your refusal but that the withheld evidence does not support Dr. Ford's allegations in quite the way you have claimed. A new twist. Just released Grassley letter to Ford ends on an ominous and mysterious note, in light of recently uncovered information, please turn over all communications with Feinstein and Hirono. This is huge. Maybe why GOP began growing a spine. They have something big on Dems pick.twitter.com og2 Gaffelty. Benny. Grassley's concluding paragraph indicated he thought there might have been some interesting communication going on between Ford or her attorneys and some of the alleged witnesses she named to the alleged sexual assault by Kavanaugh. In addition to the evidence I requested in my October 2 letter, in light of recently uncovered information, please turn over records and descriptions of direct or indirect communications between Dr. Ford or her representatives and any of the following, 1, U.S. Senators or their staffs, particularly the offices of Senators Feinstein and Hirono. 
other than your communications with me and my staff in preparation for the September 27 hearing. 2. The alleged witnesses identified by Dr. Ford, Leland Kaiser, Mark Judge, and Patrick P.J. Smith, and, 3. Debbie Ramirez, Julie Swetnick, or their representatives. There has been some significant speculation with regards to exactly what Grassley has uncovered and when the American people will find out. If it is collusion as the letter appears to suggest, then it could potentially spell more bad news for Democrats with less than a month away from the 2018 midterm elections. Ford's allies did their level best to demonize Grassley and his committee of 11 old white men for browbeating an alleged sexual assault victim. Ford's team of attorneys, Deborah S. Katz, Lisa J. Banks, Joseph E. Aboud, and Michael R. Bromwich, have been highly critical and very vocal in their criticisms of the handling of their clients' allegations. They have questioned just why the Judiciary Committee did not allow more witnesses last week and then blasted the FBI for choosing to not interview Ford herself as a part of its new five-day investigation into the accusations of sexual assault and rape from her and another woman, Deborah Ramirez. Massive Leland Kaiser was pressured to change her testimony clearing Kavanaugh. Pressure came from former FBI agent who is good, Beach, friends with Dr. Ford. This is the same FBI agent Ford trained to pass a polygraph. GOP has copies of the messages. Benny. With allegations so suspect that Ford's former school Leland Kaiser told the FBI she was pressured by Ford's best friend, Monica McLean, to clarify her original statement. McLean just happens to have spent 24 years working for the Department of Justice, including as an FBI special agent. During her time in the FBI, McLean also served as a spokesperson for the FBI's New York field office, according to a 2009 CNN report. She also just happens to be a former spokesperson to Preet Bharara, a far left wing former U.S. attorney fired by President Trump last year. Kaiser originally stated through her attorney regarding the accusations levied against Kavanaugh. Ms. Kaiser does not know Mr. Kavanaugh and she has no recollection of ever being at a party or gathering where he was present, with, or without, Dr. Ford. According to the Wall Street Journal- a person close to the former classmate said it was her understanding that mutual friends of Dr. Ford and Ms. Kaiser, including Ms. McLean, had contacted Ms. Kaiser after her initial statement to warn her that her statement was being used by Republicans to rebut the allegation against Judge Kavanaugh. The friends told Ms. Kaiser that if she had intended to say she didn't remember the party, not that it had never happened, that she should clarify her statement, the person said. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.